Have you ever wondered where the concept for Oreo cookies came from or why they've reached an almost cult-like status? With more than 450 billion Oreo cookies sold since their inception in 1912, it's safe to say they've earned the America's Favorite Cookie moniker. But it's not just the U.S. who prefers to twist, lick, and dunk their cookies. Oreo cookies can be found in 100 countries worldwide and is the best-selling cookie brand of the 21st century. Pour yourself a glass of ice-cold milk and digest some wonder-filled facts about this iconic sandwich cookie. Where did that name come from? The Oreo cookie has gone through quite a few name changes over the past century. When they were first introduced in 1912, they were known simply as the Oreo Biscuit. Then in 1921, the cookie embraced its shape and was renamed the Oreo Sandwich. In 1937, they took a highbrow turn and assumed the name Oreo Cream Sandwich. The final name change came in 1974 when the cookie became known as the Oreo Chocolate Sandwich Cookie, or Oreo for short. It's possible the name Oreo came from or, the French word for gold, which was the original package color. Or, it could be a simple derivation of the words cream and chocolate. A creamy with -E Knockoff Cookie Food scientist Sam J. Porcello, aka Mr. Oreo, invented the newer version of the delicious, creamy, pasty, stick-together filling that's become such a staple of the cookie aisle. But they may not have been all that original. In 1908, four years prior to the launch of Oreos, Sunshine Biscuits released a sandwich cookie called Hydrox. Unfortunately for Hydrox cookies, the brand got lost among the buying and selling of its parent companies and the marketing genius of Oreos, leading them to disappear from store shelves. Now, thanks to Leaf Brands, the Hydrox is back and are ready to defend their America's original title. High Class Biscuits In 1912, alongside Mother Goose Biscuits and Veronese Biscuits, Oreo Biscuits made up the Biscuit Trio. The Trio was a variety of the highest class biscuits available to consumers, a nod to the English biscuits served at tea time. The cookies were seen as an exciting innovation, and the executives at Nabisco were sure they had three surefire hits. They were one-third right. Oreos were the only cookie of the trio to survive. Double Stuff? As with all mass-produced food, the perfect ratio of an Oreo cookie is down to an exact science. So what about the Double Stuff Oreo? Is it double the filling, as the name suggests? Not quite. According to calculations done by one math teacher, the Double Stuff is actually closer to 1.86 times stuff. If you really want to eat a Double Stuff, just stack the cream side of two regular-sized Oreo together. And who hasn't done that? The Giant Oreo How many Oreo cookies are too many? In the middle of the 1980s, the answer was simple. Just one Oreo. In 1984, Nabisco launched the Oreo Big Stuff. Individually wrapped, the snack was a whopping 316 calories and took around 20 minutes to eat. For comparison, a single Oreo contains roughly 53 calories. The cookie was eventually phased out. Accidentally Vegan? The original recipe for Oreo cookies contained lard which made them unsuitable for vegans, and they were most definitely not kosher. But with the changing climate of the low-fat 1990s, Nabisco decided it was finally time to get rid of the lard and become kosher. Oh, 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 bright ideas and an Oreo cookie. It took more than three years to convert their equipment, and with the change brought an unexpected yet welcoming side effect. Oreo cookies were now vegan. Or are they? Spoon University initially revealed the possibility of the cookies being cross-contaminated with milk. Additionally, the sugar in a batch of Oreo cookies may be refined with bone char, an animal-derived natural charcoal. Pitaless Oreo ice cream cones and 100-calorie thin crisps as vegan products, the original cookie and many of its flavor offshoots are nowhere to be found. Oreo Beer Oreo cookies have infiltrated the likes of pie crust, churros, and ice cream cones, not to mention the creation of an onslaught of cookies and cream products. Is it any wonder that the classic flavor has finally made its way into the beer aisle as well? In January 2017, Virginia-based The Vale Brewing Company released a version of their chocolate milk stout called Hornswoggler that was infused with actual Oreo cookies. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the beer was sold out within a week, because apparently there's a rampant desire for a cookie-based buzz out there. Considering how prolific Oreo's various flavor profiles have become, don't be too surprised if you start seeing Oreo beers hit shelves in the near future as a result of this experiment gone right. Thanks for watching! Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!